Fox News alert, and the Senate has finally released the text of its long-awaited border bill. The U.S. does not support Taiwan's independence and has no intention of confronting Beijing. Xi Jinping, on the other hand, said that China respects U.S. interests and has no plans to challenge Washington. However, U.S. President Joe Biden spoiled everything with just one word. It is not the first time for him to spoil everything. Remember the economic crisis, the Mygrave crisis, and his corrupt family. It was all done by just one man. Well, we know that it's 370 pages, and the Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer has reiterated the fact that tomorrow he's going to take the procedural step to tee up a test vote in the Senate on Wednesday, which will need 60 days. Now, everybody is starting to scour through this bill and fillet it as fast as they can. There's going to be a, a teleconference here with Chuck Schumer, uh, the majority leader and Patty Murray, the chair of the Appropriations Committee, at, uh, at 7 o'clock to kind of go through the details of this bill here. They are working together and trying to make things right. As a whole council, they have to go through and study a lot of paperwork. The White House criticized a Republican proposal to fund aid to Israel separately from aid to Ukraine and strengthening the U.S. southern border, warning that President Joe Biden would veto the bill if it passed Congress. It's very strange that he keeps stepping on the same rake. Of course, we need to help those in need, but sometimes we have to choose between what we want and what really matters. We are used to helping everyone, but we don't know how to solve problems inside our country, and that is not good. When I look at this bill right now, there's this big consternation about 5,000 people a day being let in. Uh, basically, if you get into the nitty gritty, it essentially says, you know, you will shut down the border if they have such a, a high surge, a, a current pace like what we're experiencing now at the border. That would essentially shut it down. Um, so people are going to take and read and, and interpret certain things out of this that they want. Obviously, the border problem is the number one issue of the day. Texas Governor Greg Abbott, quite satisfied with the fact that he dared to ignore the White House ultimatum and got nothing for it, continues his activities to strengthen the border. He intends to continue doing so, positioning the whole process as a victory over illegal migration and Washington bureaucracy. It turned out that after the beginning of border strengthening, the number of daily recorded attempts of illegal crossings decreased from 1,000 people per day to three people. This is clearly a good result and it was achieved without a corrupt government, which is very encouraging. Uh, again, the question in the Senate is whether or not it can get 60 votes. Chuck Schumer, in his statement tonight, says that uh, the overwhelming uh, majority of senators want to do so. They need at least 60 to get this going. Uh, but the problem is going to be in the House of Representatives. And don't forget that there's a number of liberals, both in the Senate and the House, that don't like this. And John? Pretty interesting what's going to come out of this. Maybe they can achieve what they want, or maybe something will happen that no one could have foreseen. Anyway, the problems are slowly being solved, but it's being done too slowly. We need a proper government. We don't need people who can't talk and walk without help. In simple terms, we don't like puppets. You could see a cocktail of Democrats and Republicans teaming up at the polls on both sides to possibly torpedo this bill because they don't like it. It's it's that middle that's going to be very important if they're going to actually try to pass this bill. All right, Chad Pergram in Washington. We'll let you get to reading on those 370 pages. Good luck. Thanks, Chad. Thank you. Wow, this is really shocking news. When will we ever see two completely different parties teaming up to achieve a common goal? It reminds me of modern movies where the antagonist from previous installments starts to be good and helps the protagonist fight his enemy. Biden certainly won't be able to do anything terrible. He never thought about the aftermath, and we all know it. What do you think about that? Write your opinion in the comments, and don't forget to watch other news on the channel.